Recently, a group of former professional wrestlers from the 70s and 80s came together to honor one of their own. And tonight, News Channel 8's Rod Carter shows us the reason that this man has led to a storied career in wrestling by war. From Tampa, Florida, 225 pounds, Steve Kern. The During the 1970s and 80s, there were names in professional wrestling that just stood out among the rest. I'm blessed. Among them, this guy, Steve Kern, whose career in professional wrestling spanned more than four decades. And it all began in Tampa at a very young age. Tightened his hold on the Batangan Peninsula on South Vietnam's central coast. When the Vietnam War led his family to the Bay Area. When I was growing up, at 13, my dad was shot down in Vietnam. Richard, Richard Kern. Sure was. And he was a prisoner of war from the time I was 13 to 21. Um, of course, just like anybody else, 13 years old, in that time period, you're looking for somebody to give you advice, you're looking for somebody to help you out. And, and Mike Graham and I formed a, a friendship at Robinson High School in South Tampa. And that was just the beginning. His dad kind of in, invited me almost into the family. He gave me part-time jobs in the summer and let me work for him. And then I got to where I was working with the wrestlers, picking them up at the airports. Recently, a group of Kern's peers gathered for a Legends luncheon at O'Brien's Irish Pub in North Tampa. Among those familiar faces, former Hillsborough County Commissioner and former wrestler. 17 or 18. Yeah, and I used to carry his bag. He'd got, that's how I got into the armory because I didn't have any money. And my parents were divorced, but I'd see Steve Kern and grab, uh, he grab his bags and he'd let me walk all the way up. During his career in the ring, Kern flourished as a tag team wrestler, capturing several regional belts. And after a very long career. He used his experience to then train up-and-comers looking to break into professional wrestling. He never knew his career would last so long, let alone life itself. Just like everybody else, it's young and crazy and wild. You don't envision making it to 30, and then you don't envision making it to 40, and then you're sure you're never going to make it to 50. Now he spends a lot of time with his four grandchildren, teaching them the sport he loves and just enjoying life. Rod Carter, News Channel 8.